Let me all the saints say, Amen. Why standing shall we turn our Bible to the book of Acts? Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, reading from verse 23 to 33. Shall we hear the word of the Lord? For the man was above. Sorry, this is 23. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them is. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, why did the hidden range and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For of a truth against the holy child, Jesus, whom thou hast anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together. For to do whatsoever they are thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, a grant unto thy servants, that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thy hand to heal, and thy signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken, where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and speak the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possesses was his own, but they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. They say, Who by the mouth of that servant David has said that why did the hidden strange? And the people imagine great things. Did the kings of the earth stood up and the rulers gathered themselves against the Lord and against his Christ. For of the truth against the holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed both the Lord and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together. What to do was sort of the hand and the counsel determined before to be done. And he said, Now, Lord, behold your threatenings and grant unto thy servant that with boldness they may speak thy word. Lord, come on, body, I'm a Tioshi, I'm a war. Do you want to see him? Ewale, ni ame alo eka na ame ni ame kyo yo mo. They realize that without that boldness, they cannot speak the word. Ame ni ame yo sa ke kedi nucho a ame eka ame ni ame kyo yo mo. So the scripture says, after they have prayed, God sent that the Holy Ghost upon them again. Mumbo, mumbo ke mumbo ko shi ame neko. To refill them. Ni e wa ame e boy ko. But that boldness. But that feeling can eka ne. Them to have that boldness to be able to speak the word of God wherever they go. So now, you're talking about the conclusion of the matter concerning how to receive the Holy Ghost. Instructions that the prophet has given. And then we go into the scriptures. How? Procedures to follow for the Holy Ghost to come. Why I am telling you, why? Because you are not true. Hello, you be asking this, and I am not going to do it. Anything falling short of that. You can't even believe that I am going to do it. So, let's 
enter into the message. What is the Holy Ghost preached in 1959? 17th December, 1959. Paragraph 2 to 6. Okay. Now, to, it says tomorrow. Let's say tomorrow night, I would like to find or have rather some ministers, if possible, if not, some good, solid men or women that will we could call in time of need. Indeed. No, okay. Hello. Okay. Look where. It's going to talk about the Holy Ghost. So man, I'm. I'm. So so for. Hello. Yeah, me. Ni. I'm in. I'm in. Do much. Oh, juba. Ni. I'm in. I'm in. Do much. Ni. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, do much. Oh, juba. Solid with the word. Ni. I'm in. You more. I'm in. You more. Do much. Oh, juba. They have good standing. Me. Ni. You more. Do much. Oh, juba. Tomorrow night we'll start after the message by no. laying on hands and for, for the Holy Spirit. No. You ha- he said, you have your privilege of staying right here if you wish to. To all through the all through the holidays, if it takes that long. Yes, for you to but they were having some holidays. So he's talking as many that can be able through the holidays. Sacrifice and then if not, if you desire to go to your own home, why? We will be glad. If we will get in a place where we just don't know where to go. We want to get some ministers. They are numbers. If they are visitors, they are numbers. Where we are, where they are staying. That's where we could get. A whole, a whole of them right away. No, I can't imagine. I met here. Any kind of water, I don't want to make a day. And get one in one. Hope. No, I have new Mokwe, Ete Mokwesia. Nanada, one in another. And they could give you, give you instructions. Now, me and your family. You who are going to seek for the great blessings. That we are talking about. The baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now, if you are not going to go to the Holy Spirit, you will Last night we were speaking. What was it? What the Holy Spirit. And if you find it to be just about everything, that God promised to us. We will find that God said 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 that would need it. God need it. He said, we find it to be a seal, a what comforter, a rest. You enter into it, you rest from your labors. And the joy and the peace and the resurrection and all that God promised to his church lays within the Holy Spirit. Do you understand it? Amen. So it is very, very essential. Very, very vital. All that the Lord Jesus promised the church lays within the Holy Ghost. And now, says, let's say like this morning, we want to preach on or talk on or teach about three or four sheets talking about sheets. No, by you, what's on it? Concordance, concordance that is what he was having. Oh, by you, in your little group. Let's move on. And I just had to go through the best I could today with the scriptures. No, can I let you know me? He said, We are teaching. What was the purpose of God sending the Holy Spirit? What is it for? If it is such a great thing, then why did God send it? Now, let's 
present tomorrow night e ka wa gba ke and for you and to get the holy ghost you know you have got it ke o ki no ke na ke no ba na ko o na aloli boni ko na no ni ji and then after we get through that with the scriptures explained by it the scriptures you see the scriptures for all things then those who are seeking the holy spirit will come forward then lo ka jo atọ ma ra ruwo ka jala mi no fe aro mi wo cho mi ni to mo gogo aba ba hi aba ti kwa yi and then i hope the revival is on from then on to move on then with the holy spirit okay la ke mo ko em la we ba je si si ale ba cha run ke je na ka no run ke ya ke mo ko kro what why christ speak paragraph 1114 maba ofo due mo so now god is not going to hold a man responsible because he's a sinner ni nyumo e aroji o na because you are born a sinner but what God is going to hold a man responsible for is because that he remains a sinner it's not going to hold a man a woman because he's a sinner but he remains still as a sinner he said, you don't have to remain a sinner. There is a provision made for your justification through Jesus Christ. He said, so we are trusting this morning. If there be some inside or out who has not yet received Christ, that this will be the day that something will be said or done okay, that, that will wake him up to a place that you know you need Christ. And then if you just accept him as your personal savior and have not yet received the Holy Ghost, I trust that this morning you will receive it. Because you will receive it. He said, I see some of the tabernacle folks here. He's, he's talking about Jeff, Jeff and Seville. He yeah. said, I see some of his church members where he's preaching. He said, I am going to say something about the big sister. You see, see, one thing that the tabernacle needs up there, that Braham tabernacle at our church, at the tabernacle, that is Jeff, is rededication and refilling of the Holy Ghost. He said, everyone to get down to the altar and pray until they get a renewing of the Holy Ghost. Then the whole church be filled with the power of God. That is what we need. Not only the tabernacle there, but the body of Christ universal needs refilling. Needs refilling. Christ universally. David said one day, restore to me the joy of my salvation. David said, Now, he had not lost his salvation. He, 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 he 
when he got to a place that I can't enjoy my religion. My salvation, there's something wrong somewhere. Because it is joy unspeakable. And full of glory. One of them said, Taste and see, the Lord is good. He tastes like honey in the rock. I'm so glad that I have tested that. The Lord is good. And I love honey. But I never tasted anything like that. The best that I know of. Christ. 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 That is what we need. So now let's enter into Acts of Apostles chapter 9, 10 to 18. He said, and there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. Ananias. And he said unto, and to him said the Lord in the vision. Ananias. And he said, behold, here I am, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, arise and go into the street which is called straight. And inquire in the house of Judas, one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayed. And he has seen in the vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard of many of the, I have heard by many of this man how many evil he has done to the saints. In Jerusalem. And Jerusalem. God is sending Ananias to Saul. No, I have heard so many things about him. The people that he has done to your children. And he has sent me to him. And here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all. That call on thy name. And he said, if you But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for it's a choosing vessel unto me. To bear my name before the Gentiles, the kings, and kings and the children of Israel. Jehovah God is saying now, Paul is not a chosen vessel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And the Lord said to him, And Ananias went his way and entered into the house. Putting his hand on him, said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus that appeared unto thee in the way, as thou camest, have sent me that thou might receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Ananias is now addressing Paul as a brother. Ananias Because God is not saying he is not a chosen vessel. He's a chosen person. 
And immediately, there fell from his eyes, as it had been scales, and he received sight forthwith, and arose and was baptized. So Paul received the Holy Ghost before he was baptized. Let's enter into Acts of Apostles again, chapter 8. 5 to 24. So now, that is the vessel that God used. Ananias. No, Ananias going, going to Peter. Peter. Going to Paul, sorry. Lay hands on him. He received the Holy Ghost. That was God. Now, this is Philip. Let's listen to Philip's account. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. So and the people with one accord gave field unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For all Christ spirit crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies that were lame were healed. No, mumo poji yo me mi jo bo bo ke bo ke beni wa ke fuje ke je je me ami many ke je je me ami na gbene many na gbi gbi ke many ni ani fe ami fe ami na chamo. And there was a great joy in that city. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery to bewitch the people of Samaria, giving out that he himself was some great one. To whom they gave, to, to whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. He bewitched the people. He was using sorcery. And because of the sorcery, all the people were looking up to him. From the least to the greatest, everybody was looking up to him. And to him they regard because that of long term he had bewitched them with sorceries. But when they received, they believed Philip, preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. They were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also. When he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. And when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John. Who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. Now, Philip went and preached. So many great signs and wonders. But the Holy Ghost were not able to come. No. He had to go and call Peter. No, he had to Peter. Peter and John, Peter they came Peter before the Holy Ghost came. So throughout this, Rabbi will tell you that 
It is men that are anointed. No, yeah, People that are yeah. anointed that are gifted when they pray, he say it will happen. Balo, okay, okay. Many Not all ministers. Many are for Those that are anointed. Many are for Abimu. Ni am in the Kedromo Kenya. I'm a Kedam Solia. Mumoko Neba. Philip was preaching. Philip is. He said so many signs and wonders. If I could do about it. But the Holy Ghost didn't come. Kokadi, she moko crop quickish. God has rules. You want better not to take a twenty. Better not take a twenty. For as yet, he was falling upon none of them. Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then they laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. And when Simon saw that true laying on of the apostles' sons, the Holy Ghost was given. He offered them money. Now, baby, this time, I get hey. Now, me coming to share more. Oh, both are coming to share. Me, I know. I'm not moko ko. I'm a eke o iba meshka. Saying, give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. Iba meshka. Kori al en eke o al en eko. But I feel ni mo fia mo ni eke ni ni ba fono. But Peter said unto him, That money perish with thee. Thou has thought that the gifts of God may be purchased with money. Thou has another part, no lot in this matter. For thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent therefore of this thy wickedness and pray God, if perhaps the thought of thy heart may be forgiven thee. No, take him out to you, okay? Oh, you, 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 oh, then answered Simon and said, Pray ye the Lord for me that none of these things which thou hast spoken come upon me. Amen. 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 That was it. He thought, he thought that things of God can be purchased with money. And when Peter entered into the house of Cornelius, remember the angel of the Lord told Cornelius, Go and call a man called Peter and he would Show you the way. Yeah. No, I check. I check. Funukula to le petru. Neba leba chobo nufi. Let's read it now. From there, we we'll enter into the prophet's message, and the prophet will tell him so many things. Oh, I will take balo. Share with me. Can you walk in? Balo, I chow ni bi baba. As of Apostle chapter ten, thirty to forty-eight. And Cornelius said, four days ago, I was fasting until this hour. And at the ninth hour, I was. Ninth hour, I prayed in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in the bright clothing. No, Kalila is kaka o. Oh, we have done me him a bit solid. Kata neke mechane ni mechano ni ji ne wu eno mi solid ni na bongo du moye ni ewa tali ni pele. And he said, Cornelius, the prayer is heard. And the arm, our heart in remembrance in the sight of God. Lord, the car of Kedilos, I bought us all the motive. Ni, I go now to Kedi and find. I buy fake car money and enjoy it. Send therefore to Joppa and call hither Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a tenor, by the seaside, who went come and shall speak unto thee. Now, 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 now,
Simon, ni Chegbeji, Peter, ni a Shaku, Yabukuni, G. Simon, Shia, ni Shia Becca, Isha. Immediately, therefore, I sent to thee. And thou hast well done that thou hast come. Now, therefore, are we all here present before God to hear all things that are commanded thee of God? No, I cannot be no, I can't do no, I need to, ni Abba, Nabacha, we could have been over. No, I'll pay over, I say, and you join. No, I'm not going to buy you a channel. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respect of persons, but in every nation. He that feareth him, he worketh righteousness. No, I can't go. Accepted with him. No, I can't go. Do you want to come here? To my fear, my new one, my fear, my me, let you many a one. The word with God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. What word I say? Ye know, which was published throughout all Judea, and began from Galilee. After the baptism which John preached. Now God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him, and we are witnesses of all these things which he did, both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hung on the tree. Him, God raised on the third day and showed him openly. Not to all the people, but unto witnesses, choosing before God, even to us, who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. Amen. Amen. Amen.